As it stands, it looks like a Kawasaki Vulcan 650 at first glance, but with compact dimensions similar to the latest Kawasaki Z400 Z250. It has a classical style like the old Kawasaki Eliminator, but it uses full LED lights and a digital instrument panel with Bluetooth connection. A cruiser concept with a relatively low seat height of 735mm for a relaxed riding position. The engine that adopted the new trellis frame was inherited from the Z400, an inline two-cylinder 398 cubic centimeters DOHC, water-cooled 8-valve. Combined with his six-speed manual transmission with an assist slip clutch, it develops 47 horsepower at 10,000 rpm and a peak torque of 37 newton meters at 8,000 rpm. Although it has a classical style, the front and rear lights use LEDs. The instrument panel is also fully digital making it easier for drivers to use. Differences between the SE and standard variants are the mounting of suspension guards, USB-C ports and two-tone leather seats. After that, a Mitsuba Sankawa GPS was also installed, and a tachograph was installed in the front and rear. Interestingly, the Kawasaki Eliminator comes in standard and SE types with additional equipment. Headlight covers, front shock absorbers, USB ports, two-tone leather upholstery, front and rear recording cameras with GPS and more. The tank looks small, but the tank capacity is 12 liters for the bike weight of 176 kilograms, standard, and 178 kilograms, SE. The Kawasaki Eliminator is available in metallic spark flat black and pearl robotic white, as well as metallic matte carbon gray and flat ebony colors exclusive to the SE type. Speaking of price, the standard Kawasaki Eliminator will be released at a price equivalent to RP 89 million, SE type is equivalent to 100 million rupiah in Japan.